guys and welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley and I have been painting like crazy this morning, um, but I thought I would sit down and film something. Um, I've been painting, I don't know if you ever get in the, I don't know, mood to paint the same thing over and over and over and over and over, um, trying to get it perfect, uh, but I've been painting the same thing over and over and over. Uh, but I wanted to put that aside and play with something that is a little bit cheap, but I wanna see if there's any quality to this. So I've mentioned this in a previous video and some of you said you wanted to see this. This is an art set from Walgreens and I wanna test out the watercolors in here. Um, I don't like have anticipation for this to be amazing. Um, I actually, based on the way it looks, am picturing it being quite chalky, but I love being pleasantly surprised by cheap art supplies. By cheap art supplies. The Ikea one, I was actually very surprised with and enjoyed painting with it. So let's dive into the Walgreens one today. And yeah, if you wanna see any more Christmas videos between now and Christmas, let me know. I feel like I should just be painting Christmas, but um, I don't know, I just felt like digging into these today. Let's open this. This is from Art Skills. Uh, what is the price? I don't know. My husband bought this. That's a theme. He likes to buy things for me while he is out and about. Um, art Skills Painting Artist Set. Set. He bought this at Walgreens while picking up medicine. Um, it looks like it might be on Walmart as well. Let's look at it. It may be on Amazon as well. Let us see. Oh, that's definitely not it. There it is. Oh my, there's no way he paid that for it. There's no way he spent that much money on this. If he spent that much money on this from Walgreens, I'm a little frustrated. Let's see, how many pieces are in this? It can't be the same thing. This is saying it's $39. Please tell me this is not the same thing. This has acrylics. This has acrylics. Watercolors. Okay, it's not because there's not colored pencils. Okay. Although the acrylic paint set's also $40. I was thinking this was maybe like a $20 set because it has acrylics and watercolors in it, but if he spent $40 on this, oh me oh my. It looks like most of their sets are $39.99. So I don't know how much this was. I'm pretty sure my husband's not gonna remember how much it was either. Um, but I will continue looking and I'll see if I can figure out how much this thing costs. But other sets from this brand are around $40. So hopefully that's not the case because, whew. All right, it says it is artist quality. It has 18 watercolor paints, 16 acrylics, and 10 painting sheets. Mixing palette included. Interesting. Here is what is in this set. And today I'm just gonna be talking about the watercolors. Um, I will use the brushes though. There are the pages. I'm curious to test out the paper as well. It's nice that it does come with some thick paper. Um, where's the mixing? I don't see a mixing palette though. Like I don't see a mixing palette at all. Unless it's the lid to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip the camera around and start painting. As always, I already have a bunch of stuff on my desk, so let's clear the desk. If my desk is clean, that means I have not been painting, so I guess it's good that it's messy, right? All right, so here is the watercolor set. It looks like a cheap kid set. Um, the paints do look a little chalky based on what they look like in the pan, but we shall see. And this is the included mixing palette. It's a very, very floppy, flimsy um, plastic. Ikea is definitely winning at the moment. So, but let's see what these paints actually look like and how they perform. This does come with some paper, which is nice. Let's see. It doesn't feel like 140 pound. It definitely feels thinner, but it does have a texture to it. So let's... I'm gonna get some clean water and we will swatch these. Let's go ahead and get some swatching going. Um, here are the two brushes that come the set. Um, they definitely feel very, very cheap plastic, but 
Let's start by getting some water on these. Okay, I put water on all of them but one. I wanna see how quickly it reactivates. So here we go. I'm gonna start with this red one here. Okay. So it, oh, it definitely has some pigment. It definitely needs a bit of water to, that's awesome though. It's got some pigment in it. The paper seems to be soaking up the paint and water quite well though. Let's see if we can layer. I'm, I'm not mad yet. It does seem to layer. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's staining the brush <laughs> quite a lot. Um, but let me swatch these out real quick and then we will paint something. So they're the swatches and just based on the initial swatches, I'm not overly impressed. They definitely have pigment, which is amazing. Um, I'm not liking the texture of them, but they don't do the lathery frothy thing that I hate. Definitely some watercolors out there that bubble up that just drives me crazy. These definitely feel a little scratchy, um, but there's also the brush and the paper to take into consideration. So I'm gonna be painting with different paper and a different brush um, to test these out. Um, let me try this round brush on here as well. Okay, so the filbert brush is very stiff and the round brush is very floppy. So you've got two different kinds of densities if, you know. Anyways, um, so first impression at the moment, it's very cheap. Uh, feels cheap, but I want to test it on some 100% cotton watercolor paper with a nice brush and see how it does. Paint some flowers, do some things. Um, but they do have pigment and they're, the colors themselves are really pretty. So we're going to do some painting, some mixing as well. Um, let me get out some different paper. So I'm going to be painting on the Tumor, I don't know how to say this brand, Tumurata every time um and i actually just got this on amazon to test out and i'm liking it it is a hundred percent cotton paper 140 pound five by seven um it's it's very thick it feels thicker than a 140 pound to me like it's it's like a board um it's not a board but it feels thick like that so this is what we're going to be painting on i want to do a little bit of color mixing and i'm going to get um, what brush do I want to use? We're going to go with a filbert brush and this is a size 10 from master's touch. So let's see how this does. Let's see if I get some paint here and mix. Let's add a little woo, pink to this. It's a nice purple. Oh, I, I can't see the paper because the microphone is literally in my face. Let me see if I can lower this. One thing I like to see if watercolors that are of cheaper quality can do is um, blend into each other. Because I find that a lot of times when I'm working with a cheaper watercolor, they don't, they kind of just stay separate and don't blend into each other. And that seems to be the case here. Um, they're not moving a whole lot. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start over. I don't know what just happened. See what it looks like if we water it down. And then 
And if we try to add some more, um, it is bubbling a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be on the paper. Adding a thicker concentration to blend into the lighter, it's not really, I don't like the feel of this paint. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I'm doing, I'm just turning into a blob because I hate it. Okay, it's fine. Keep going. We're good. Let's add a little bit of blue. Yeah, the colors seem to stay pretty separate. They're not blending into each other, which um, is something that I greatly desire in my watercolors. Now, I am able to wipe off my brush and kind of blend out the edge, but not like it's not, it's not moving. If that makes sense at all. Um, let's try, let's do this here. Let's see. I mean, you can definitely paint with these, but um, so far, these are my least favorite paints that I've tried. Yeah, these definitely feel like kid, very much cheap kid paints. And if this set is $40, ooh, like I feel like these paints by themselves are maybe um, worth $250. Like, that sounds really rude, but I just don't, I don't know, man. They have pigment, but watercolors, you want them to actually shear out. And these just aren't doing that very well. So I guess if you are wanting, see they're, they're more, mm -mm, no. They feel more, oops. They feel a little bit more like, um, acrylic that you re-wet um, I mean you can paint with them but I wouldn't so paint so I'm I'm giving the Ikea set to a friend who has um, oh, how old is she I don't know five I think a five-year-old who loves to paint and I, the Ikea set, I'm excited to give to her. This set, I wouldn't give to her. This is just not, not worth it. I'm not saying you can't paint something pretty with this, but I am saying there are better paints out there, especially if we're talking about that price. And I understand that you're, you're getting acrylics with this too. So, um, I primarily do watercolor on this channel, but I do paint in acrylic as well. So I do want to swatch just three of these shades to see the quality. But uh, like I was saying, I I don't, um, for that price, even considering you get acrylic and watercolor, I, I don't think that for that price you should get this. <laughs> Talking that price range, if you're spending, let's, let's say um, half of it, is um, the watercolor price. So say you're spending $20. I would much, I would recommend greatly buying some like Winsor & Newton Cotman, some student grade paints than these like kid paints. Um, I don't, I don't, I think these are a waste of money, honestly. See what the acrylics look like though, which I'm not anticipating these to be any better, but let's see. So let's see what this lavender, I'm just kind of swatching this to see the opacity of it. That's a beautiful color. If you're buying this set for the acrylics, let's see if I can mix in. Yeah, if you're buying this set to paint acrylics, um, then that's one thing. I think the acrylics will do, they're fine. Um, I mean, compared to if you're just getting the dollar um what are they a dollar 50 now the are they crate and barrel crate crate apple crate i can't remember what the brand is but i would say that they are comparable to that um 
yeah, they blend into each other nicely. So, um, yeah, but if you are getting this for the watercolors or let's just say this brand for watercolors period, I would skip it. Um, yeah, the acrylic feels creamy. It's pretty. So I'm going to keep these acrylics and I will probably use them, but the watercolors just not, not liking. So ugh, I was hoping that I would have better news on that, but I mean, if you want to paint pigmented watercolors, they're going over each other very well. This is just not, not what I want. Um, I want to see if the white will go on top. No. Not really. No. So, anyways. Um, I was hoping to have a little bit more uh, good news for this video. Like I wanted this to work out and I also didn't think it was $40. So I would say this would be worth it just to play around with your, um, brush strokes and skills, but no, I, like I said, I, uh, you can find much cheaper options, um, that much, much better quality. Um, uh, I, hold on. I want to recommend, let's see, let me show you. I'm just going to show you. If I were going to buy the a cheap option, which again, I don't think this is cheap. Um, let me see how much this cost. I started with the Winsor Newton Cotman. This is like the pocket palette. Um, how much are you? But let's say this, this is 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, oh, here it is, 27. Okay, so it's $27. It also comes with a little travel paintbrush, which is adorable. Let me show you this. The Just the quality difference in the way that the watercolors behave. This is very well loved and well used. Um, let's see here. So if I wanted to get a cheap option and you can, the difference in the way that they go on the paper and sheer out as well. Yeah, there's there's just no comparison to that. This is what I would go for if I were trying to find a starter option that didn't cost an arm and a leg because some of the watercolors are very expensive. I uh, got a set that's $340, no, $370. Um, but these you can mix pretty much any color you want with this set. You have your warm and cool tone of your primaries. You've got browns, whites. Um, it you, you can mix anything that you want with this. So let me show you. Um, I'm gonna mix a lavender out of these. I mean, took me two seconds. Beautiful shade and this the paint quality of this for the price absolutely fantastic so um i didn't want to just have this video be a downer with what how awful that was but here this is what i mean by blending into each other too let me let's see here these can blend and move and i just you see that so that compared to, um, let's see, put them on the same page. I probably should have washed my brush off better. That first leaf had a, or petal had still some of the Windsor and Newton in it. Okay, so there's that color. Let's try and put in a little bit of this. Well, it definitely moves when you have more water on there. Maybe I was using them too dry before. But it still doesn't move past where 
like these keep moving and those still stop at that. So, I mean, definitely if you've got a puddle of water, it's going to move into it a little bit. Let's do a puddle of water and this. Here is the difference. Look at that, it's just so pretty. So yeah, I hope that was helpful and I hope that um, seeing it side by side with you know, a student grade from Windsor and Newton anyways. Um, and again, this isn't the professional grade uh, watercolors, um, but I personally think the Cotman are, obviously they're not, they're not gonna be the exact same as the professional, but I think that they're really, really good um, to be for being student grade. They're fantastic. So anyways, um, I hope that that helped and gave you at least some information on that. Um, okay, so there is that. And um, let's see, these should be, well, they're not dry yet. They're dry on this. Um, they, they do have a slight chalky feel as they dry as well. They're not like super chalky, but they don't stay quite as vibrant. That is another thing. Um, the cheaper paints won't stay as vibrant once they are dry as um, professional ones. But Anyways, if you see the art skills watercolors, uh, I personally would pass and go with Ikea if you can. But anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm going to be testing out the next inexpensive paint brand that I'm gonna test out is the Gin Crafts. And I've heard in my comments section um, some of your opinions on the Gin Craft paints and paper. Um, so I'm very curious to test that out because I've heard some not so great things about the gin crafts uh, paints and paper so um yeah make sure you stay tuned because that will be coming but that is going to be it for this video if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already and you want to see our future videos hit that subscribe button down below and i will see you guys next time bye if you know how to paint you can paint with just about anything but some of it's just more enjoyable than others. It does not lift well. <laughs>